Good morning, everyone. I am actually driving now while we do this video. We'll see how this works. I hope it doesn't get too noisy. I've turned the air conditioning down because I know the fan was noisy last time. All right. There are so many people that are struggling with what's going on in the world. Anxieties up, suicides up. I've been watching commentator after commentator on line and they're asking them, what do you think is going to happen with the elections and everything else this year? And experts who normally have a good solid opinion on what's going to happen shrug their shoulders and say we have no idea that is adding to the despair people are finding out that there's nothing in this world I'm saying this on purpose nothing in this world that they can depend on and they've put their whole faith into this world working to make money to buy things because that's what everybody else has done and they're not being satisfied the world is finding there really is because they don't know God they're finding that there is no hope and that is bringing a lot of people to make the wrong decisions about life. There, of course, is one right decision, but that's been, they've been lied to so often about God and about what it would require to become part of God's kingdom. They've been lied to it so much, they're reluctant to take that. That's their escape plan. But they're reluctant because Satan has been very good about getting players out there to make it look like it's a bad thing. Why'd you kill the guy? Oh, well, Jesus made me do it. I had a dream from Jesus, and he told me to you know, burn the church down. You know, there are people out there who are getting those visions, and it's, it's scaring people away from a loving God would never tell anybody to do something like that. All we can do, all we can do is just try to nibble away at this claw hold on the world that people have. It's a very simple, easy decision. It's the easiest decision anybody could ever make, and yet Satan has made it so convoluted, so fearful for people that they don't want to do it. But of course, Satan can't do anything but lie. I think my next video, we're going to get a vision of Satan and why he is the way he is. But in the meantime, we have to bring comfort in any way, shape, or form. If you can simply bring comfort to take a meal to somebody, to sit, and with, sit with somebody who's unable to get out for some reason. I've done the hospital visitations where you go sit with somebody who's stuck in a hospital bed. All you really need to do is just listen. got to throw something out every once in a while, but they just need someone to talk to, not to listen to. So you don't preach as much when you're on those kind of ministries. But that's what Jesus would do, wouldn't it? He would listen to your problems until you got it all out. Because while you're carrying the burden, you can't. 
put it down and pick up God. You have to relinquish the burden and then God who's right there ready to take it will take your burden and there you can now do whatever you need to do. This world is not going to get better. And I see prayers all the time that say, God, please heal our nation. Uh, would that he could, but I don't think that that's in the stars. The book of Revelation doesn't tell us that. After so long of a period of corruption, God's going to come in and heal the United States. We're not even mentioned in the Bible. The greatest Christian nation ever to be, and we're not mentioned in the Bible. There's a reason for that, folks. You can come up with an obscure, oh, well, they call this the, you know, Eagle Nation. Well, I don't even know that that's in there. But they, they come up with, oh, it's in there because it says so here. There is nothing that you can definitely say is the United States. And we are the prize. We're the trophy prize for Satan. If he can take down the United States, he's taken down God's country. I'm driving into town, by the way. Um, I started to go by the uh, Rangers camping area and he had a big party going on so I figured okay this is my time God's telling me they're all preoccupied now's the time to talk I hope I'm making inroads with this guy that's the Ranger he lets me talk I can talk about God, talk about what I'm doing with my videos. He's put me in a very good spot. He's very helpful. He's not giving away things that would be illegal, but he's helping me, and I help him back. I went around this morning, and I swept out all the bathrooms. Well, I do that for myself personally because I hate spiders. And there are spiders that come into these bathrooms. We're in the country. And I started doing it for everybody now. And they all like it, so he likes it. See, it's a very simple little thing. Just to use a broom and kill spiders. You don't have to do everything preaching. Kindness is... Everything good and perfect comes from above. Kindness comes from above. Just chip in. Find things to do. I pick up trash as I'm walking along. It's a natural thing to do. I'm at an intersection. Uh, if you're walking in your yard and there's some trash that blew in, wouldn't you reach down and pick it up and throw it in the trash can? And I got another intersection. I have to turn my whole body when I look. I can't just turn my head because of my neck fusion. So five things you can do. Just, I've mentioned it before and I, I keep mentioning it because it's not me, it's God. Every place I go when I'm feeling spiritually controlled, and you know whether you're being spiritually controlled or not. Every place I go, whoever's in charge will see me and bring me, invite me up. It's like the parable of, of uh, do you walk into a church and sit in the front row only to be asked to give up the seat for somebody more prominent than you? You'd be better off to sit in the back and be invited to sit up front. I get invited to sit up front so many times and I am not 
a life of the party person. You've listened to me for a long time. I'm just nice and calm. I'm like Mr. Rogers or our happy painter. Let's draw a happy tree here. You know, I, I fit in that category better. So why do I get invited? They're seeing Jesus in me. And who wouldn't want Jesus to sit in the front row or to be with him while they're doing things? And it happens all the time. So it's not like this is just a one-off one thing. All the time. I'm 70 years old. I've seen it most of my life. I've been a Christian. Let's see, I became a Christian when I was maybe 19. Yeah, I think I've reached the end of where I want to drive. So I'm going to turn around and drive back. I was thinking of going to the market, but I still got to eat up some of the grub that's in my cooler. And then I'll do that maybe tomorrow. I don't know yet. I'll maybe come back on the way. I go into town Tuesdays and Fridays to visit with my son. Okay, now I know I've changed the lighting as I've turned around. The sun's kind of over there now behind me, whereas it was kind of shining on me. So hopefully this will be... I haven't figured out how to put lights in my car. No, there's a light. Does that do anything at all? I don't see it doing anything. I'm not going to make every video in the car, but it, it changes things up. It changes things up for you and for me. Okay, so I'm going to, now that I'm here and I went through town, I'm turning around going back through town. And I'll go back to my campsite. And find something else that I can do to be helpful. Look for ways to be helpful. Especially if they can allow you to talk to somebody about why you're being helpful. Don't volunteer it. You don't have to. They'll come up and say, you know, thank you for doing this. It's unusual for people to step right up and help out. And say, well, this is what my God teaches me to do. You don't even have to say the next part. And they'll say, well, who is your God? And they may say, what else does he have you do? We're supposed to be witnesses. So you need to be able to just freely talk about God to anybody who asks. Giving it out voluntarily, you may be throwing the seed on rocky ground, but if they're asking, there's hope. The soil is ready. You can't tell people about God if the Spirit hasn't had time to work in them life may be in a situation where they are looking for an answer and they can't find it in the world. Because you can't. The answer to life does not exist on this planet. Satan may have something else to say about that, but you want to you counteract what he says. Okay, now I'm turning, going in a different direction. There's a restaurant here and I'm, I'm dying to try it. It's called the Rutledge Cafe. It's basically an old house that got turned into a, uh, a restaurant. It's supposed to have the best southern food in the area. I'm reluctant to try it only because of my dietary concerns. It seems like the only time that I'm reminded that they're there is at the peak of... This is after church on Sunday. People go out to lunch, right? Well, the place is packed. There's no place to park even. During the week, they serve lunch. I could go in there during that time. 
Don't be afraid to explore. Try new things. Talk to new people. We have an inquisitive mind. It's our fears that stifle it. God should help you to overcome those fears. He's good at that. Satan's good at piling the fear on, so don't listen to him. Tell him to get behind you. He has no power. The only power Satan has is to bring doubt into your mind. That's his only power. Counteract that by being confident, by getting into the Word. If he brings doubt to you, find out how to counteract that with the Bible. For the time being, Google seems to still be adequate, but that's going to go away. You may have to have some hard copy books. Now, I got a library of books in storage. I've got lots of books, different translations, all kinds of stuff. But right now, for me being transient, it's easier for me to use the Internet. So continue to use it. But they are going to take it away. We're seeing where they're doing that in England and France and Canada and California trying to. All the socialist hotbeds right now are trying to get rid of social media. China's had restrictions on it forever. And they came up with TikTok. Which you got to be careful with. You can find good things on the internet. You can find bad things on the internet. And one of the things that I've found, and I find this a lot on... Facebook, and I used to do Instagram, but I don't anymore. They keep trying to get me to go back because they know what kind of an influence they've got. They they throw ads up, they throw short videos up, which I don't think people are doing. I think YouTube is doing it, Facebook is doing it. You get these little bitty things up there, and they're they're not pornographic, but they're a little bit risque in hopes to entice you and if you hover over the video or the picture too long they count the seconds I think I don't have any proof of that but I think that they do because I know that I do that on other topics and I start getting more of those other topics I love planes and if a plane comes up I'll sit there and look at it and then next thing you know I'm getting more pictures of planes I love memes jokes. Well, I start getting more memes and jokes. The problem is, is that they start entering in with off-color jokes. So then i got to try to restrict them. You can block, filter, report different categories. And for the time being, you can still have some control. Eventually, you won't. Right now, you can. So use it to its fullest. If you don't like something coming up on your feed, report it, block it, mute it, depending on the platform, what you can do. You don't have to watch this stuff. And don't think that, oh, well, this is it's a little bit off color, but I can, I can handle this. Don't fall for that trick. That's Satan's working his way in. If it's off color, block it. Granted, you've seen that one. Ask God for forgiveness, cleans your mind out of it, and move on. The way the internet is working today is it's trying to get you into things and finding out what your interests are. There's a certain amount of business involvement in this, but there's a certain amount of satanic involvement, and you've got to make sure you keep that line drawn. Satan's going to tempt us until we're out of here. He may tempt us while we're going up in the clouds. I don't know. Once we're up in the clouds, he can't tempt us. But he may catch us right on the ground just before we leave and try to tempt us. Just tell him to get behind you. Go away. In the name of Jesus. That's all you have to do. 
and then don't focus on whatever it was that he wanted you to look at. Our eyes are too easily influenced. Picture's worth a thousand words. If you can get a bad picture in your mind, he's put a thousand words in there. You have to be strong. And you can get you can get rid of Satan just like that. He has to go. But here, wait, I don't know what the time limit is, but there's apparently a short time window, and you can come right back again. Now, 99 times out of 100, I don't warrant Satan personally myself, and you probably don't either, but he's got enough demon workers to do all the bidding. Through social media, through your friends and family. So... Don't let this world frighten you. The world is supposed to be frightened, but we're not of this world. Be strong in it. Know that the ultimate income or ultimate uh, fruition of this is eternity with Jesus. We can't complain about that at all. Okay, I'm turning into the final road. God has been really good for me while I'm doing this. You want to understand, I normally drive this road, and it's busy, busy. I don't mean freeway busy, but for a two-lane road, I cannot drive the length of it that I don't have at least one car get behind me and tailgate me because I'm going too slow. This entire video that I'm talking to you on, I have not had anybody do that. It's evident when you're doing what you're supposed to do, God's involved. All right. This I'm doing, I'm recording this one on, this is Sunday, and it's going to be released on Monday. I've already written my script for my Tuesday one, so I've got something to, to work on when I get to dealing with my son. I'll have a video already up, and then we'll have another talk. I like the talks, but I got to make sure that I give you something to take with you, to take away from the video. These videos are not so I can talk. These videos are to help you. And so I like putting scriptures in these so that you can see that I'm giving you God's word. I'm still trying to give you God's word even when I'm talking like today. I'm trying to give God's word. But you just have to take away from it my words. I'd rather you take the Bible with you as well. So I will teach the Bible as often as I can during the week. But if I'm traveling or some special deal like this weekend, um, I will just have a conversation. I'm using scripture throughout my conversation, but you'd have to look them up. All right. I'm about to pull back into the park, so just in case he waves me in, I'm going to go ahead and finish this now. So we're getting very short, people, on time. There's not a lot of time. Something major is going to happen this year. I'm predicting, now that we're See, this is still August. I can't say, well, I can because this is September when you watch this. This month, something big is going to happen. Really big. Until we meet in the clouds. God bless.